Hey, what's up, uh, YouTube Nation? This is your old pal Kevin, Captain Milo Man Nelson, coming at you with a uh, another episode of the Fanboy News Desk for Wednesday, July 11th, 2018, and it was on this date in 1979 that NASA's Skylab space station began its crash down, as I call it, back to Earth, and I pretty much remember what I was doing the day that it came back down I was listening to uh, the Seattle area radio station KJR 950 AM at the time and they were referring to that morning or that day as Skylab Day <laughs> and in other news Marty Abrams it was announced this morning on social media and also on the Mego Museum that the Revive Mego Corporation have announced their exclusive retailer for their upcoming action figure lines, which is going to be Target. The figures will be first be going on sale at the uh, San Diego Comic Con. I believe that's next week. And on the 29th, the figures will be hitting Target. I believe it's their website first and then their brick-and-mortar stores. The lines include a 14-inch scale Joe Namath figure, which will be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and a 14-inch scale Harley Quinn figure. Other other licenses will be or included are the original Star Trek series. Star Trek is finally returning to Mego, <laughs> which in a way I thought that was kind of a shock. Also the Brady Bunch, Married with Children, I Dream a Genie, and Cheers. Oh yeah, and Action Jackson. Everybody's favorite little adventurer next to G.I. Joe is returning it to the 8 inch format so I'll be looking forward to grabbing a few of those figures and I hope to if I do I'll definitely do reviews for them when I can get my hands on them anyway I think this will I'm going to close out this episode of the fanboy news desk till next time be good if you can't be good then be careful or at least be good at it later